Thank you, Starlink, who made this possible. I'm standing on the edge of the Grand Canyon and I just held the world's first live webinar from the edge of the Grand Canyon. I want to show you how we did it. It was incredible. The results are incredible. This location is amazing. Everything worked out with the technology. We have no cell phone data here. We have no electricity here. So how did we run a live webinar that had 2000 people on live with us and we had an amazingly successful result. So let me show you how we got here and what the setup is, what the tech is and how this all worked. This is a super remote wilderness location in Northern Arizona. And the first thing that I had to do was air down the tires on the truck so that the rough road is smoother and it also protects the tires from getting flats. This road is 60 miles long, which is 100 kilometers. It's a rough dirt road. It took three hours of off-roading to get to our final location. The last hour was straight four-wheel drive. It was a rough road. We're just loading up all of our stuff on the back of the camper in preparation to go tomorrow because we have like one and a half kilometers to hike and we have to carry everything in one trip. My greatest fear is that we're going to forget something like one tiny little piece. So we just did the dress rehearsal so that we know exactly the equipment we need and now we have it all in one place. So here's the technology that makes this live webinar possible. This is a Starlink dish that receives and sends internet and it's powered by a couple of solar panels that are connected to a Jackery battery pack and inverter and that is powering the Starlink's Wi-Fi router that you see on the left. Okay, so it's the morning of the event. And we are starting to load up our bags with all the gear that we need. And this battery pack just barely fits in, but it does fit in. Look at that. This is going to close and now we should be able to backpack all of our stuff inside the packs. It's amazing to think that two people are able to carry all the equipment necessary to host a live webinar in the middle of nowhere. We had a couple of solar panels, a satellite dish, a battery pack, an inverter, three tripods, a laptop computer, a Sony camera, and all of the cables and everything else to go with it. And we wanted to hike to a place that was literally within 20 feet of the edge of the Grand Canyon. We're almost there, almost at the edge. Yes! This is it. Wow, that feels amazing being here. We, we made it. So happy. So this is the view and this is what our edge looks like. 3,000 feet of vertical, so high that if you fell off, you would die of old age before you hit the ground. And this little platform here is where we will do our shooting and we'll make sure that we're a safe distance away from the edge so that no stumble is going to cause a problem. Now we really need to get set up and fast. Laptop is first. And then the heaviest thing of all, which is the battery pack that just miraculously fits in here. And I see from the digital readout, it's still 97% charged, which is awesome. And now I can get that out of the pack. And the Starlink uh, Wi-Fi router. And I'm just so hoping that we didn't forget anything at all. I mean, we made a list, we checked it twice, we checked it thrice, but I would hate to be realizing way out here that something is missing. We have so many moving parts to make this whole thing work.
Let's get all this stuff out here. Lav mic. Battery for the Sony camera. The Sony camera. Lens cleaning. Battery for the light. The Elgato to plug the camera into the laptop. Bungee cords to pull down on the on the two tripods. An extra lav mic just in case. I'll keep that here. Swiss Army knife. You just need one. Earphones. Kleenex to wipe the sweat off my sweating, gleaming forehead. And I think we have the key essential stuff. Except, really I could say the most important of all is right here. If there even is one thing that's most important of all because every little thing is equally as important as the big things. And it would be the Starlink dish and duct tape, Photography Academy t-shirt. And now if I can get this dish out, I've got to get the laptop uh, platform out first. I'm gonna do a little ad promo for the book while we're here. Laptop platform, and now, Thank you, Starlink, who made this possible. And the base for the dish. Okay, I'll get this set up right away. So I have to say that out of all the webinars I've ever done, obviously this one's the most challenging, but it's the most exciting. And, uh, you know, funny enough, when we were still in the camper this morning, Leah opened up the Bible and I thought to myself, good, I need like a fresh word of wisdom right now. And she started to read and she said, she talked about that parable where the wise man builds his house upon the rock and if you build your house on the sand, your house is gonna come crumbling down. And then I was like, are you kidding me? Did you mean to read that? And she said, no, I just opened the Bible up to that. I said, that's in the webinar. Like I'm using that as an example of how you make an awesome composition. And she said, well, there were two pages kind of stuck together a little bit and that's just what I opened to. And so like, wow, coincidence? I think not. So we are on the rock and we are building our house. Another thing that's so important, um, I find that webcams on computers have absolutely horrible cameras and uh, your shot just looks grungy and there's no dynamic range in them and when you use a real camera for a webcam, your shot is 10x better than using a computer webcam. So that's what we're doing here. A little more extra hassle but I think it's worth it given where we are. And we're powering it. Uh, with constant power from the inverter so that we don't have to worry about a battery running out. And I am now ready to power up the camera, but first, this is what will connect the camera to the laptop. That's ready for the laptop, and now I need the stand for the laptop. Starting the event. And we are live. From the edge of the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Welcome everyone. <laughs> uh, my name is Michael Mataluni and I am your host for this first in the world live webinar from the edge of the Grand Canyon. I wanna congratulate you for joining us because you are now part of photography history. This has never been done before. And you are the early adopters because we are here live. Well, Tim is there live for this event. I'm going to be supporting Tim. Ladies and gentlemen, Tim Shields, founder of the Photography Academy. Tim, 
What an absolutely incredible location you are in. I just want to welcome folks who are joining us from around the world. This is truly an international event. Uh, we've got Burkhardt from Arizona. We've got uh, Roger from Canada, Dorothy from Georgia, Sri Lanka's in the house, Ontario, Canada. Connie, uh, she says, yes, it is working. Welcome, Connie. Pismo Beach, Toronto, Oregon. We've got folks literally from around the world. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, it is it is just so incredible like i can see the actual water of the colorado river it's three thousand feet from the colorado river up to that plateau and it just like it's beyond words the majesty the glory of this place it's just absolutely incredible there were 2700 people who were watching the webinar live and during the webinar i taught them how they can take the best landscape photography photos of their lives using the camera they already own using my very simple four-step system. And after 45 minutes of training, I then made a presentation for a brand new landscape photography masterclass. I want to introduce you to the Epic 8 Landscape Photography Masterclass. We are going to travel together to eight epic landscape photography destinations. And while we're there, we're going to learn how to take eight epic different types of landscape photography shots. This whole class is about the four step system. Welcome to step one. Welcome to step two. So now we're at step three. Welcome to step four. I want you to know that in my heart of hearts, I believe so thoroughly in the success of the four step system that if you use it, no matter what your experience is, no matter what failures you've had, no matter what camera you own right now, you will be able to take your own epic landscape photography photos. Join me and let's go together on this epic eight landscape photography road trip to eight epic locations. And we're gonna take some awesome photos. Your final assignment as a photographer is to go out and proactively explore, find new places to go to. And then when you get there, you're going to create, create your own art through photography, art that never existed before, you're gonna create it. And when you do those two things, you will inspire everyone around you and you will inspire yourself. So, Everyone go out there and explore, create, and inspire others. Thank you so much for joining us today. Bye-bye. Okay, that was amazing. That was amazing. Live from the Grand Canyon. I can't even believe that we did it. Uh, first first time ever. And, and we did it, we were part of history. I think we should be in the Guinness Book World Record. And a huge thank you to Starlink for making this event possible. Even a few weeks before we hosted this event, it would have been impossible because the roaming feature was not yet available with Starlink. But once roaming was enabled, it means that anyone can run an online business from anywhere in North America. It means that anyone can stay connected no matter where you are when you're out on the road and you can maintain self-sufficiency through solar panels to keep batteries charged and with inverters that provides 110 volts so you can power laptops and routers and charge camera batteries, whatever you need to do. So a very, very big thanks to Starlink and to Jackery for creating an awesome product that powered the Starlink and also to ClickFunnels for creating the perfect webinar and for allowing us to create our online business faster than ever before. So thanks to all of you and this has been so successful. We're going to do it again, but this time it will be in a super remote location in the Rocky Mountains. So I'll see you there.